Good night, guys. All right, guys, how you guys doing? So we are live now. Uh, I will be going live on Instagram as well. So if you give me one second. Um, and if you guys are on and you're gonna be joining us tonight, um, I won't, I'm gonna kind of be going back and forth between my computers uh, and Instagram as well, answering and going with any questions that you guys may have as we are doing this here. All right, hey guys, how you guys doing once again? Uh, Welcome to our Join Our Stand Against Bullying, Bullying Ends Here. Uh, this is our first uh, segment that we're going to be doing uh, every Wednesday. My goal is to come on at 8.30 p.m. every Wednesday. Uh, and during this time, we'll kind of just discuss some different bullying situations and challenges that we're facing um, as a nation and as well as uh, just our kids in general. So again, I'm just going to let everyone kind of come on a little bit, give it a few more minutes. I'm kind of going to be going back and forth between my, my Facebook page and my Instagram page, just answering any questions. How you doing, Jacob? How's everything going, but how, how are you guys doing? You doing great? Uh, so there we go there. Okay, and if you could share the page too, guys, that would be great. I'm gonna share it to a couple of spots. Um, if you could do the same thing, that would be awesome. And if you wanna invite friends, please feel free to invite friends as well uh, to the, the page as well. Uh, we're gonna go here and, and I'm gonna, Doing a couple more spots here. here. Bam. All right. Doing good? Awesome, bud. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Where are you great? What grade are you in there, Jacob? Jacob's on Instagram right now, so I'm talking to Jacob on Instagram. Great, are you are you in tenth grade right now, bud? Or ninth grade? Um, I kind of lost track of where you're at as far as schooling goes. I believe you're in tenth grade. Maybe I could be wrong. Maybe ninth. Uh, what grade are you in right now, Jacob? All right. Hey, guys, if you do come on, if you can just kind of give me a thumbs up, a high five. You're joining us. Again, this is our Bullying Ends Here um, campaign that we're doing, guys. We're doing four weeks of bullying uh, concepts, topics, discussion um, that I want you guys to kind of intertwine with me on this. I'm on Instagram and I'm also on Facebook at the same time live. So I'm going to be going back and forth as far as asking questions and trying to answer questions as well as kind of giving a little dialogue uh, what we're talking about here. Again, if you can invite some friends to come and join, that'd be great. Uh, and if you can share it to any page that you know you can share it to, please feel free to do that as well, guys. Again, I feel we're going to have a pretty good night with some good information and just some good dialogue uh, with you guys. Um, and I would love for the kids, if they're still awake, I know it's kind of late, but if the kids are still awake and they can join us in this, I would love to have them listen to some of the stuff that we're going to be talking about and or uh, you guys can watch the replay, as I said, the replay up. Because um, I am recording it, I'll set the replay up so you can watch it later uh, on Facebook and also on our YouTube page. All right. So we're going to get started probably like another minute or so. Again, I just want to see who is with us right now. Let me go to my... Uh... Sharing group. There we go. Put it in there too. 
All right. Okay, so again, guys, uh, we are discussing uh, bullying and what bullying is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Anyone who wants to chime in, please feel free to chime in. I'm going to be going back and forth trying to check my Facebook uh, feed. Uh, it may come in a little bit delayed, so if I, if I, if I respond to you a little bit later, uh, I apologize because it's kind of delayed as far as um, me speaking to you right now and then what's showing up on, on the page there. Okay, so first thing we're going to talk about first, guys, um, is we're going to talk about what bullying is, right? It's really important that um, – that that we as 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 adults, we as as parents, um, and that we're able to teach our kids, and that kids understand what bullying is, right? So when you when you think about what bullying is, what what would your child think bullying is to them? Right? What is it that they would think bullying is to them? In most cases, uh, most kids feel that bullying is when someone is being uh, mean to them or not being nice to them, um, kind of being like rude in certain situations. Um, and that, that, is, that is in some cases not necessarily bullying as much as a person just kind of not being a nice person, just being rude, right? So, um, and, and what we want to try to do is we want to try to help our kids identify the difference between someone just being rude, right, and someone not being a nice person in a moment and a person also that is actually bullying. Right. And, and trying to understand the difference between the two. Right. So uh, what what makes you think what what do you think makes a bully want to bully? Right. Uh, in most cases, uh, when you think about it, a bully is going to bully because they want to feel a sense of power. Right. Or a sense of control over a situation. And when we think about bullying, most bullies will prey on what they feel is a weak. Right. So if you look at a lion. This is an example, right? Uh, the lion, the lion is one of the most fierce animals in the world, right? Uh, but when it's time for them to go and, and hunt their prey, they never go after the most healthiest uh, gazelle in the bunch of gazelles or the most healthiest wildebeest in the, in, in the, the, the wildebeest. The lion is going to go for the one they feel is the weakest target, right? So it could be the calf, the young person. It could be the weak or the sick one um, that they feel they might be able to get away with uh, taking down and, and devouring. So when you think of that, it's kind of the same thing with bullying, right? Bully is going to look for someone they feel is weak. Um, they feel that, 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 that will not give them a, a, a fight back um, or fight back with them on a situation that they may, they may put in front of them, right? Uh, so let's go over some, some quick statistics real quick on bullying. So what, 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 what is the bullying epidemic, right? What, is it, what, what are kids being bullied the most on, right? Most kids are being bullied mostly because of how they look. Right. So sometimes it could be uh, just their, their physical presence and how they look physically. Um, sometimes it can be because they don't have the proper clothing or the same clothing as someone else. Uh, maybe their hair is not as nice as other people. Maybe their shoes are not as nice. But it comes down to the way a person looks. Right. So in some cases, kids are bullying other kids over something they can't control. Right. Uh, and that's that's a challenge that 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 you find in one of the bullying is about 55 percent of kids are bullying because of what they look like um, and because of their looks. Right. Uh, another percentage that uh, kids are being bullied within is the fact that their their body shape. Right. So some kids are being bullied because of their body shape. Maybe they're a little overweight. Um, and those type of things, maybe they're not as healthy as some of them, maybe they're too skinny, as some kids may feel. Um, so in those situations, that, that's another situation where they're being bullied over their parents, right? Something that, uh, that they, that I did, in some cases they can not control, some cases they can, right? Um, so when you think of that, that's 37% of the kids being bullied. So 55% of kids are being bullied because of how they look. Another 37% of kids are being bullied because of, because of their body shape. Right. So ideally, when you think about that, let me see, it's 55. That's about it's about almost 90 percent of bullying is done about almost 80 to 90 percent of bullying being done by how a person looks and how a person is perceived by another person. Right. And another percentage of the bullying that comes across is is about 16 percent are bullied due to race. Right. So race could be because of their skin color, because of their ethnicity, uh, because of possibly their religion. All these things are things that, you know, these kids are kind of going through when they're being bullied. Right. And what we want to realize is that uh, this bullying takes effect all affects everybody. So it doesn't just affect the kid that's being bullied. Uh, it affects that kid's family and, you know, the siblings and everyone else, their friends and things of that nature. So it's really important that we kind of understand what bullying is and we kind of take advantage, not advantage, take, take, take steps to try to help stand up to it and also uh, end it as well. All right. So, again, these are some statistics I want to put out to you guys. Another statistic is that there's about 160,000 kids that miss school every day because they don't want to go to school because they feel uncomfortable. Right. They feel uncomfortable because somebody's going to bully them or someone's going to make them feel um, uh, uh, less of themselves as they're there. 
So one of the things I want you guys to think about is when we talk about what is bullying, what is actual bullying? We talked about, you know, when someone says something mean to me, that's what kids kind of think, excuse me, that's what kids kind of think sometimes is just when someone's being mean to them or they're, they're not being nice to them. That's in those situations, the kids will feel that they're being bullied. But that's not necessarily being bullied. That is more of a person that is just being rude or a not a nice person in, the, in those moments. Bullying is a targeted effort uh, where they target the person over a time period and over a situation. So let's say uh, my son goes to school and a kid tells him, I don't like you because your shoes are ugly, right? So he's talking about his looks or what, what his appearance is. And I don't like because your shoes are ugly. And then that's at, in the morning time. My son can respond in a certain way. He can feel bad. He can say, this kid is bullying me. Uh, but really, the kid is just being rude or being disrespectful, right? Not being a nice kid. And those type of kids are all throughout our world, guys. And we just got to teach our children how to, how to be a little bit more stronger uh, mentally and emotionally so we don't allow those type of things to really affect them. But then the next step of the bully now, let's say my son is at lunch, same kid comes and he finds my son and now all of a sudden he's, he's poking at him or he's, he's saying other things to my son, right? So now he's starting to develop a pattern of a target, right? He's picked my son or another child as a target of which he wants to, he's going to go after. And then the next day we have the same situation and the next day. So it kind of like a continued pattern of targeting and, and going after um, a kid in a situation, right? So when we think of, we think of bullying, that is what actual bullying is, right? So it's not because someone was being rude by saying something mean in that one moment or that one day, but it's just the, the, the continuation of the targeting that a, a kid may be experiencing. And that is where we run into trouble and what we want to be careful of because uh, bullying can, can really affect kids more than what we actually thought. I know when I was younger, uh, there was a saying that sticks and stones may break my bones and words will never hurt me. And obviously, that's, that's the thing you want to try to carry for yourself and you want to try to carry for your children. But there are times when that's just not possible, right? Sometimes you're just, just things that people can say that can really hurt your feelings and crush you. And think of it as a kid that has to go through that, right? Now, bullying gets to its highest point in that fifth grade, sixth grade, and seventh grade, right? So our goal is to really try to try to develop uh, the, the good patterns of children at a young age, right? We start developing patterns of, you know, understanding what bullying is. And then what are some things that we can do to prevent someone from bullying us, all right? The first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that if someone's uh, bullying me, I want to stand up to that bully, right? I want to let that bully know that I'm not, uh, I'm not a weak person mentally or emotionally, so what you say to me is not going to affect me, right? And I want to make sure that's known, all right? And if it's a bullying situation, I'm going to make sure I let the teacher know. I'm going to make sure I let my parents know. I'm going to make sure I let the, the, the principal know because all these people need to know what's going on because they don't understand what's going on. Then I'll find myself... Uh, keeping it in, and then that's when I'll get myself in trouble. Where I'll, I'll either go hurt myself, or I'll lash out at someone else. Or, in worst case scenario, is a bully that's bullying someone else, and that person turns around and go bully another person. Right? That's that's kind of like a double bully. And we want to be aware of that. And if we can teach our kids to kind of kind of check it in the beginning and really try to have that strong foundation in the beginning, that's going to help them prevent them from letting it happen to someone else. A lot of times, too, what happens is I see uh, kids that are that are being bullied and another person standing there. And because because they don't want to be bullied themselves, they don't say anything. So then they become like a bystander. Right. Um, and what we want to teach our kids as well is we want to we want to we want to help other people. If they see if we see someone is being hurt or someone's feelings are being crushed, uh, we want them to be an upstander, not a bystander. So upstander is going to stand up. They're going to say something to the bully. Um, and they're also going to go and, and let someone know what's going on. One of the things we also want to be aware of, too, is that kids, you know, kids, I know when I was coming up to, it's kind of the same thing. It does, hasn't changed over the years as far as generational uh, bullying and just how things happen, right? But if you went and told a teacher, you went and told your parents, you were considered a tattletale, right? Or as kids say now, a snitch, right? Um, and I don't really look at it that way. I look at it as, as, as if, I was, if I was a soldier, right, and a soldier out in the, in, in, the, in the battlefield or whatever, I'm out there, right, and I go out and I see something happening, I have to come back and report it to my commander and to the people on my team, because I want to make sure that everybody's going to be safe when they go out there, right, so if I'm doing that, that just means I'm being a good soldier by reporting to, the, to, my, to, my, to my, my upper staff, my commander, um, and then my other people that are, that, are, that are on my team, so it's really no different uh, from me reporting 
what's going on and that just makes me a good citizen right so kids get into the thing where i'm not going to tell and most bullying goes untold and because it goes untold that's when you get the kids not wanting to go to school saying they have a stomach ache saying that you know uh they want to they want to be in the nurse's office not want to do certain social things because they feel uncomfortable being in a situation because they never said anything to anyone to let them know what's going on so we want to really teach our kids that uh it's not it's not tattling it's not snitching it's just reporting i'm a good citizen i'm reporting what's going on because i don't want you to get hurt and I also don't want myself to get hurt I don't want anyone else to get hurt either all right and we want to make sure they understand the difference between those two right um and a good citizen is going to do that and I want you guys again just make sure you're you're you're, you're helping your children and you're reinforcing that with your children so they understand that this is what they want to do when they're in a situation all right I'm just going to kind of go through and see if there's any questions or any comments hey everybody how you guys doing on Facebook here and Instagram I see my son joined us here all right I see Ray just came on one son 06. I'm not sure who that is, but if you drop me who you are, I'll be right with you. I know exactly who you are. Uh, I'm going to kind of go through and just check some of my messages, see if I have any messages in any of my other areas here. All right. Uh, just really quick, just to kind of get some feedback from you guys. Have you guys ever uh, seen someone being bullied or experienced bullying yourself? Uh, if you have, just kind of just tell me in the comment, yes, you have, or two thumbs up or something, just so I, I know that I'm reaching the right people as we're having this discussion. All right, doesn't look like I have anything. Questions in here. Let's go on the backside here. Sent requests to be in the live video. Let me see. Hey, Ray, I'm going to see if I can get you in here. Are you on? Hey. <laughs> How you doing, Ray? Good. How are you, Carlos? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. Uh, we just kind of, you, you, you came in on our, our, our live feed, told me you wanted to join me. Uh, experience about bullying. I see it every day. I get okay. a school bus. Ah, yeah, I'm sure. Let me, you, let me tell you, it's a tough situation how I have to handle some of, some of the things that I have I have to deal with. I, I can only face. imagine. I can only imagine. So everyone on Facebook right now, I don't know if you can hear Ray, but I have Ray on Instagram, and he's talking to us on Instagram, kind of telling us some of the situation that he has going on in a bus. You know, I, I the bus is a very, very... Uh, you know, we don't we don't really think about how how uh, challenging the bus situation can be for kids um, because there's not as much adult supervision. Um, they've usually had a full day of school, um, and then when they get on the bus, it's kind of like they're I hate to say like they're released, but they almost feel like they they can release themselves, right, and um, get themselves into even more challenging situations. So I can only imagine what it's like. Uh, going on on the bus and just how many kids now I've had such from our own students uh, parents tell us that their, their children don't want to ride the bus because of what's going on in the bus whether it be their child being bullied and or uh, they're witnessing someone else being bullied and they feel that they're going to be next if they don't actually take the moment to get off that off that bus right absolutely that's amazing so how long have you been doing school bus Two and a half years. So I, I, I'm sure that in the past couple of years, you've been able to see kind of like some of the things that's been going on, huh? Oh, I see a lot. Yeah, do you? The things, I, I have to be a counselor. I have to be the school nurse. I have to be the bus driver. I have to be the monitor. I'm, I'm all sorts of things. And when I see things that are happening in my dummy mirror, which oversees my students, yep. I have to question it. I have to call it out. I have to figure it out. I have to show these kids that bullying is not going to be tolerated. And I personally don't tolerate it. You know, I don't toler tolerate it with Colton and stuff like that. Absolutely. So it's, it's very challenging. And parents need to really understand that if their child's being bullied, they need to sit down and they need to talk to that child and find out what is absolutely going on. I, I totally agree, and I and, and if you guys can't hear him on um on on Instagram here, we're on Facebook and Instagram. What Ray is saying is that you know when he's on the bus, you know he's ideally the only adult on the bus. And with it in that, he has a lot of hats that he has to wear to make sure that he's making sure the kids are on the bus are getting home safely. Uh, 
physically and emotionally. So they're not facing some of the emotional challenges that, you know, that they shouldn't have to experience the emotional challenge that they are experiencing on the bus. And he's doing his best to make that happen. What he's saying as parents though, is that you really have to dig deep into your children and have conversations with your children and ask them what their day has been like. What are some things that are happening within their day? Um, what are some things they would like to change about their day? What was their experience of their day? Um, these are very simple questions that you can ask, not so much saying who bullied you today, but really asking kind of disguised questions to help them open up to you and give you the information that you need to help them become successful and be able to get through any challenge that they're facing. And on top of that, I find that sometimes parents whose children are the actual bully, when it's brought to their attention, their first response is not my child. Uh, the other kid must have done something to my child. And I think that we, we have to get out of that, that, that immediate response all the time and really, really hear what the situation is. There's been times where um, my son, you know, he's a great kid. He, he, he's a wonderful kid. And someone's brought something to my attention. I was like, what, what do you mean, my son? But I go and actually have the conversation with my son, and he tells me the situation. And in the situation, he didn't realize that he was wrong in what he was doing. He didn't feel that he was bullying, but I had to really go and break the situation down to him so he understood how he's supposed to treat people, the way things are supposed to happen when you're interacting with someone. And that way, it, it, it will teach him how to do things the right way. So someone doesn't feel whether he was being rude or he felt like he was targeting or he was within a group of people that may have been doing something. Now he understands that this is something that's not acceptable. And I didn't automatically say, no, not my son. I said, let me get a little more information. Let me ask my son what's going on and then see what the situation was so I have a better understanding. That's so right. important as parents that we're able to do that. Obviously, uh, none of us want our kids to be labeled as a bully ever. Um, but kids are kids, you know, and sometimes they're not in our eyesight all the time. And we got to trust in our, our the things that we're teaching them and the things that we're trying to show them that they're taking it with them in other places. But again, kids are kids and it's unfortunate, but there's only, there's, if, until we start teaching them and training them, uh, and I hate to say training them, but they have to be taught, they have to train, they have to be practiced, you know, good character traits and skills. Uh, until we're able to do that on a higher level that they really understand, we're going to still kind of have these challenges happening. And again, it starts with us as parents, understanding our kids and what's going on with our kids. Ray, I want to thank you for jumping on, man, and giving us that information. Is there anything else you want to add to um, kind of what we're discussing here? Just that, you know, it, it, takes, it, takes a, it takes a good family to sit down and talk with their children. It should be done on a daily basis. Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm dealing with I'm dealing with my own, and I deal with 66 other students a day. And I have just in the four weeks that we've been in school, I have taken two children and made them um, better people just in the first four weeks of school because all they did was get bullied over the over the summer, and the same bully is on our bus. Yep. Well, that bully has decided now that he sees the light. Good. Good. So, I, so, I, so you, 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 you had the opportunity to change two lives in yeah. one moment. Yeah, it did. That's phenomenal. And, and again, people, we don't, we, don't, we don't think about the magnitude of that. We don't think the magnitude of when we are able to change the pattern of what that person who is probably most kids are wonderful, sweet, loving kids, right? And yeah. in some yeah. cases, it's almost like once they get into that, that, that avalanche of bullying or that power control thing. It's like they can't stop themselves, right? And what we have to do is we have to help them identify what they're actually doing. And then once we're able to help them identify that, then we get them to change the pattern of what they're doing. And that is phenomenal that you were able to do that for these two kids because, again, you saved, you literally probably saved two lives uh, from this, this challenge. And you're starting at an age where, again, like I said, when we can start planting a seed young, as they get older, hopefully we hope that as they get older, they'll be able to carry that same characteristic traits. Absolutely. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. All right. Is there anything else you want to add to our discussion here, sir? No, I'm not. All right, perfect. All right, well, I'm going to actually close this this little session out. Um, I will have a recording of it. So once up, I got one comment on Facebook here. Let me see what we got here. Uh, as you all know, brother is pretty bully badly, and uh, when he came to Champions, you and your team have helped William not only but our whole family. We are in, incredibly grateful for that. Gina, thank you so much. Um, again, 
our job, our job, and again, this is not, you know, obviously I'm a martial arts uh, person. Um, we teach martial arts, but for us, it's a lot deeper than martial arts. So, uh, Ray, I've just commented off of what uh, Gina said on Facebook here. It's a lot deeper than martial arts, right? We are trying to build the whole child. We're trying to build the whole student. We're trying to help change patterns and, and beliefs and confidence and helping kids really believe in who they are and be comfortable within who they are and who they're going to become. Um, and, you know, we, we ourselves, we can't end bullying. We can't, I can't stop bullying. You can't stop bullying. The only people that can stop bullying is our children by not allowing, not allowing what someone says to me, not allowing what people, how people make me feel, crush them and, and, and break them down emotionally and spiritually. If we can teach them to be confident in who they are and that words, they're just words, don't, should never have an effect on you in that way. It's going to help them grow a lot more. And then on top of that, when we talk about the physical side of it, as a martial arts training, we really, in our program, and again, I'm just speaking out of my program. I can't speak for anyone else. Our program, we really focus on the reality side of practical self-defense and teaching kids that things that they learn in class can possibly help them in a bullying situation immediately. And that's so important because a child won't have – full confidence in standing up from themselves if they don't have that full confidence that if you physically try to harm me, I can still protect myself, right? It's two different things. Like I can stand up for myself, but then when you physically try to attack me, now all of a sudden I go right back into that shell. Or I can have the mark or where I, I, I am confident in myself. And also if you physically try to attack me, I have the ability to protect myself because I do have that right to protect myself from someone physically trying to harm me. That is what we our goal is. So, Gina, thank you for giving your family and giving me and our staff the opportunity to work with your family. Uh, we hope that we can keep this going on for a long, long time. We hope we're building a great foundation for them for as they go into middle school, which I know William is in middle school now, and as he moves through middle school and transitions to high school. Uh, middle school is a very difficult time for our kids. And then high school, my son's in high school now. High school is probably one of the most difficult times our children will ever face. Right. So we really want to prepare them as much as possible, moving through those next transition stages of their life. And it starts with the beginning foundation. It starts with teaching them young to believe in themselves, to be confident in themselves. And then even when someone tries to break their will, break their spirit, that they can come back from it and become stronger and grow from it. All right. So uh, I'm just going to do a quick little refresh of this here. See if there's any more comments on here. Um, I want to thank everyone that joined us tonight. Again, I'm, gonna, I'm recording this now, so I'll have a live playback for you guys if you missed it. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to drop it in any of the comments sections. Um, also on Instagram, um, you can drop it in the comment section, or you can also put it in our YouTube page as well. Uh, we will be hosting, um, every year we host the anti-bullying workshop. We will be hosting a bullying workshop on October 19th. Uh, we're going to shoot for a 1030 start time. Um, and it's going to be for grade levels uh, K through fifth grade. So if any of those kids are in that age group, this is going to be a free bullying workshop. Uh, we will have a link up in our events page on our Champions Mars page, a Champions Martial Arts page. Uh, and we'll also have an email blast that will go out to everyone too. Again, guys, this is our first session. The next session that we're going to do is going to be next Wednesday, and we're going to discuss cyberbullying and how dangerous that is and the effects that it can have on people. Ray? Thank you again for joining me, man, and I appreciate your input and just the things that you're doing and continue to, to make that impact on, on, on the kids that you have the opportunity to, and God bless you, man, and just keep doing what you're doing. I thank you for that. Thank you, Carlos. All right. Absolutely, man. See you soon. All right, guys, so once again, uh, I am. we're going to log out here, uh, and if you have any questions, any comments, please put them in the comment section, guys, and I'll come back and I'll, I'll, I'll follow up on it with you guys. Uh, thank you for joining us. And again, we're going to shoot again for next Wednesday at 830 where we'll be discussing cyberbullying and we'll talk about things that we got to be safe. Maybe, maybe I can get my girl Zoe and Madison to come on with me and they're, they're high school teenagers. They can kind of discuss, you know, what cyberbullying is to them and how that, how that, how it affects, you know, kids they see affecting other kids in different ways. All right. So again, guys, thank you again. And I'll talk to you all soon and have a great, great, great weekend. Take care. Bye now.